Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm not sitting at my usual spot because today I am showing you royal icing consistency. I'm going to show you what I use when I am mixing uh, color and consistency into my royal icing. Uh, I'm going to show you the different things that I use as far as any um, like spatulas, bowls, ways to add water, um, and the different colors that I like to use when getting my royal icing consistency. Um, the main part of the video is going to be the three different kinds of consistency that I use most of the time. Um, I did mention in a video previous to this that my favorite consistency is uh, something in between stiff and soft. So I am going to show you that consistency. Sorry, I kind of looked away because my phone is on low battery. Um, I know you guys couldn't see that, but I saw that and it distracted me. Anyway, so I'm going to show you the middle consistency that I use. And then I'm going to show you stiff and soft. Um, stiff being the consistency that most people like to outline with. And soft being what they flood with. And I'm saying most people because like I did mention before, you will get used to your own rhythm. You will get used to what you like. So this isn't for everyone, but it is an idea of how to get started into this new cookie venture or to change things up if you've been doing cookies already. So here's what we're working with and I'm going to show you my table, the spread and all that good stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's what I have today for you guys. I do have different types and brands of coloring. You have a squeeze bottle type of gel food color here by Wilton. Then I also have a Mary color in a little like dropper bottle type of way. There's the Wilton caps and for these, you have to use a toothpick or either a scribe to go in and grab color. Just make sure that if you are using a scribe, you wipe it every time you go back in or you wash it because you can and will contaminate your color. Um, I also have a larger drop bottle type of food coloring and I do like or prefer to color my royal icing with gel food color. So here are the different types of colorings that you can use. Um, I also have some scissors. Um, moving over here, I will be showing you today how to flood an outline using bags that you can get your hands on at your local craft store. So I won't be teaching you today with tipless bags because I'm trying to use things that you have easy access to. Um, so here I have some Wilton bags and then right over here I have several different tips that will be inserted into our bags. And I do have different sizes of round tips here. Ideally, all of them are for something different. For example, the smallest one there. Ideal for writing something that is a little bit bigger like this for flooding. And then over here, I have this little guy that you can use for making flowers. So I have my tips. I have a little container with water. I have my mixing bowls, my handy dandy spatulas. I love these spatulas. I did get these at Hobby Lobby um, and I like using these because since they are very flexible, they get into every single little groove of my bowl and I'm able to mix my colors and my consistency really well. And right over here, I have three different ways that you can add water to your icing to change the consistency. Now, a lot of people like to use spray bottles. Then there's a dropper, which is my favorite method. Or you can also use teaspoons or measuring spoons to make sure that you have control of how much water you're adding in. So the way that you add in the water is totally up to you. And then finally over here, I have my royal icing. I will be showing you the different types of consistencies and the consistency that is in here is actually stiff consistency. So now that we have seen everything that I will use to show you today, let's get right into the consistencies and everything that we're gonna do with all the cool stuff here on the table.
So as I've mentioned before for our stiff consistency, we're just going to go ahead and use it as how it was whipped. So we're not going to be adding any liquid. The only liquid we're adding is the color that we're going to use. And I am going to make tiny little flowers with this. So I will be using um, like a light pink gel color. And don't worry too much about adding too much food coloring or too little. The only way that you'll change the consistency of your royal icing when using color is if you add the whole bottle. So really you can color your icing as much as you want using gel food coloring. Aside from making flowers and leaves, you can also use uh, stiff consistency icing for borders or to add more dimension, sort of like a 3D look to your cookies. Your stiff consistency icing should look a little bit like this and it should hold on to your spatula. Also be very wary when working with royal icing or any icing for that matter. So make sure that while you're not using it, you do cover it with either a wet cloth or with um, that cling wrap or saran wrap. To make my flowers, I will be using a Wilton piping bag and a Wilton tip number 224. As a prevention method, I do like to go ahead and kind of twist the end there so that when you put in your icing, it doesn't fall right through your tip. You don't have to do it, but it's just a measure that I like to take for precaution. Once all my icing is in the bag, I like to push it all the way down and then twist at the top and tie the top with a little office clip. You'll go ahead and see it here in a second because I feel like it's an easier way for me to do it versus actually tying a knot on the bag. Here I'm practicing on a Wilton practice board. You can also practice on a piece of parchment paper or on a plate. And as you can see, I'm doing a simple rotating motion. And since my icing is stiff, it's going to hold the shape of a flower. To add the details inside the flowers, you can also pipe tiny little white dots or dots of any other color. But here I'm just using tiny Drages, I think that's how it's pronounced. For my medium consistency, I am starting with stiff royal icing and I will be adding water and color to it. Now that I've added my color, I'm going to go ahead and add my water. And I did count the drops and it's between 14 to 15 drops when you fill your dropper halfway. If I am using uh, measuring spoons for the medium consistency, I do start by adding one quarter teaspoons at a time and I'll usually just add about one or two of the one quarter teaspoons.
When looking for my medium consistency, I like to take my spatula and you should see about soft peaks kind of like peeking out at the end of the spatula. That's how you know that you've reached medium consistency. I like to use medium consistency royal icing for riding or for borders and here I am going to show you the piping bag using a coupler. So a coupler is inserted inside your piping bag. That way you can actually attach the tip outside and you're able to change the size of tips that you're using without having to use a new bag. For medium consistency, I do like to use tip number one for writing and tip number three for borders or outlining. I'm also not speeding these parts up so you can actually see the consistency and how the icing looks. I know it's a little bit awkward just kind of like looking at me scraping at the icing, but that's why I'm not speeding it up so you can get a good look. The first thing that we are going to do with this medium consistency icing is practice writing. So I'm taking my practice board and I did go ahead and insert a calendar calligraphy page under it to practice writing. I am using tip number one for writing and practicing in this exercise. Now I'm going to change my tip to tip number three because I do want to outline a outline of a dog so I can show you how to outline and flood. So here I am using tip number three to outline a dog face. For my soft consistency icing, I will be adding the same brown and twice as much water as I did for the medium consistency. And as you did see, I went ahead and added two half droppers and then in the end I added a quarter of the dropper uh, filled with water into my icing along with my color. The way that I'm testing my icing is if you drop it from your spatula and it creates a ribbon but it doesn't melt back into itself then it's still a little bit too stiff so I am adding a little bit more water and then I'm going to do the little ribbon test again to make sure that it's soft enough. And here we've reached the perfect consistency because when your ribbon falls back into your bowl it kind of just all melts back together into one piece. I'm using this soft consistency icing with a Wilton tip number four to go ahead and flood the dog phase that I outlined with my medium consistency. And in this case, I'm not using a coupler because I will only be using this soft consistency royal icing for flooding. 
so I don't need to change my tip. Now that I have my icing ready in a bag, I'm gonna go ahead and flood the dog face that I outlined earlier. I always like to practice before I go on an actual cookie, but sometimes it does happen that you're working on an actual cookie and you mess up. Don't forget that you can always scrape off the icing and start over. I hope these tips really helped you and I hope that you try my royal icing recipe. Please let me know if you do and if you do have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and have fun with the recipe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!